Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to land your first summer internship. This is specifically tailored towards freshmen. And before we start, I just want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, AI Camp. So I'm going to talk about AI Camp a little bit later, but just as a brief overview, I got my first internship after my freshman year of college in 2017. I entered with Bank of America and the role that I have was a mix between a dev and a project manager. So first things first, is your resume so i had a high school resume but it was extremely basic i think i had like you know my high school gpa on there and some other things listed on there but for your freshman year resume these companies know that you really don't have much experience so i start at the top by just putting my high school gpa and i put like i think i had like a scholarship just the regular georgia tech scholarship uh just you know make it seem like I'm academically gifted or whatever. And since I was applying in fall of 2016, and that was my first year of college, I didn't have a college GPA. So these companies really didn't know what to expect from me in terms of my college GPA, which is why I listed my high school GPA. So if you're wondering whether you should list your high school GPA or not, if you have no GPA from college, so you're applying in the fall, then be sure to list your high school GPA just so they can somewhat gauge your skill level. But if you are a second semester freshman, list your college GPA. The next thing that you can put in your resume is your coding languages that you know. Of course, if you are a first semester freshman, you know, you're probably in one of your intro CS classes and you are learning a language. So I actually knew Java from high school. So I put I knew Java and then I was learning Python during the time. So I put that I knew Python. I wouldn't really recommend putting those soft skills on your resume, like good speaker. They really don't care, honestly, and it just kind of takes up space. But if you do have any technical skills, be sure to list them there. The next thing that I didn't do to my resume my freshman year was uh, list the classes that I was taking. So this is an excellent idea really for anyone who's in college, um, especially if you've taken data structures and algorithms. The next one is experience. So obviously you are a college freshman and you really have no work experience but maybe you actually do so for me I was a math tutor in high school and I listed that there because it showed that I actually had a job and you know these companies aren't expecting you to have the most amazing jobs as a college freshman they know that you are just trying to jump into this field and trying to uh, gain experience but if you had had any kind of job even if you were like an ice cream shop person like scooped ice cream or just anything that you know makes it seem like you're actually like a consistent person you're consistently showing up to work then i would list that there and then the last thing that i would say that is probably the most important part of your resume as a uh, college freshman is the project section so this is where companies are going to be looking at to see if you're actually interested in um you know whatever role you're applying for so if you're applying for a dev role then you want to have project listed of you know where maybe you built a calculator anything as basic as that so the way that i listed my projects and i think honestly what really helped me get my freshman internship is i did a it was an appathon but it's just basically a mini version of a hackathon through that experience i was actually able to talk through the experience of creating an application and all of the ups and downs that come with it the most important thing just try to list a project on there. Try to do a project throughout the semester if you know you want to get an internship. Okay, so the next step after you have your resume all built and beefed up is to recruit. My freshman year, I was actually required to go to Georgia Tech's Computer Science uh, or College of Computing Career Fair, and they like required us to talk to some companies, but I was so dead set on getting an internship that I actually took it seriously. Like most people just kind of, you know, if you're a freshman, just walk around for all the free stuff. But I was like determined to get an internship. Um, so at a career fair, I really would just walk up to companies that I was interested in or I thought they may have had a freshman internship, tell them I'm a freshman, give them my elevator pitch. And at the time, I don't even think I had done the hackathon or appathon or anything like that. And I would just talk to them for the experience of getting used to talking to recruiters. I'm honestly not sure if any sort of interview came out of that i don't think anything actually came out of that just because a lot of the companies there are recruiting for sophomores and juniors um, but it's still a good experience for you to find out what these companies are looking for and for you to also experience your college career fair so if your college doesn't have a career fair then i'd say the next step is to set up a linkedin basically all i did was just kind of like list what i had on my resume on my linkedin but in a more succinct way don't count out linkedin if you feel like you really have no experience it's really something that is an excellent tool to use to get you 
a job really at any point in your life so obviously I just said you know I had a LinkedIn I went to the career fair but you know how did I actually get my freshman year internship and get a couple of interviews I said this earlier but I was like really obsessive about getting a job like I was like do or die if I do not get a job 2017 I'm a failure I don't have that same drive now because I don't care but at the time I really really cared um, so what I would do is I would just google freshman uh, summer internships freshman computer science internships and I look pretty much anywhere and everywhere for every single company I could find to see if it was um, a company that I was interested in and I would apply. So that is really actually how I got my first summer internship. I would really say that you have to spend a lot of time looking for those freshman roles because a lot of companies don't really have freshman roles um, but when those companies do they're pretty specific and usually you know you're not going to be competing with uh, sophomores and juniors um, and they're only looking for the skill set that a freshman could have. I applied to I want to say maybe like 20 to 30 roles from there I was able to get uh, three interviews so like I said with Bank of America that was the one um, I accepted as well as uh, with Morgan Stanley I accepted that too um, but with that interview it was actually just two behavioral interviews uh, where they just asked me really about my resume. So this was when I realized like they selected my uh, application because I had done the hackathon because they asked me a lot of questions about my experience doing that project, um, you know, the technical side as well as just working with other people. And they were really able to see like who, who has coded outside of school um, as well as worked when I, I would talk about experiences as a math tutor as well. The interviews should not be too difficult. If you are applying for like, you know, some of the big tech companies, Google, Facebook, etc., um, you most likely will have a coding interview. And I will say that they will probably look for on your resume to see that you've taken data structures and algorithms for me my EA interview was actually a technical interview it was some question in Python and then we did it on a Google Doc and I completely choked like honestly just the, the story for the rest of my life on how much I choke on interviews and then lastly in terms of the Morgan Stanley one I believe I only had one phone interview for that one because it was an exploratory program but they called it an internship um, it was just more of a short program so they didn't really need to gauge uh, how much you know you would actually how much knowledge you would actually need to know if you are applying for a big tech company, be prepared to actually code. Do leak code easies and mediums just so that at least you're familiar uh, with how to do a technical interview. For like Bank of America, other sort of banking internships, you most likely will just have a behavioral interview. Lastly, I wanna talk about, you know, you've applied to a ton of companies, but you haven't heard back. Summer is approaching and you're kind of like, what the heck can I do now? You know, I don't wanna do nothing during the summer. And I would say that there are honestly several options for you to take advantage of your summer to get an internship the next year. So the first thing that you can do is exploratory programs. So I mentioned this with Morgan Stanley, um, but basically these are like one week or even like two day uh, experiences where you're able to uh, meet employees at these companies and learn more about their company. And then usually they'll have an interview at the end so that you can interview, you know, if you get an offer, you'll like, if you accept the offer too, you'll accept the offer and then you'll have an internship for the next summer. If none of that works out and you know, you're like, oh shoot, I don't have an internship. Then I would say, you know, if you need money, you know, get another job, you know, get any job you want, be a math tutor. But on the side, work on projects. And I know that takes a lot of, honestly, a lot of energy um, if you're not like super passionate about uh, coding or, but just do it for yourself. And it'll also be a great opportunity for you to find out if you really like CS because you have to have the motivation to be able to complete this project on your own. The last opportunity that I want to talk about in case you don't end up getting a freshman year summer internship, there are, like I said, so many great opportunities out there. And one of them that I mentioned at the beginning is AI Camp. So AI Camp is a summer camp for uh, students who are 18 and under where they can find out and explore if AI is a career field that they actually want to go into. So as you all know, my concentration was in AI. So I'm a little, you know, honestly biased <laughs> for wanting more people to go into this field. Um, but it is really one of the fastest growing, hottest fields that you can get into. And to be able to have the opportunity to um, see if you are actually interested in AI and find out more about it before you, you know, really solidify your college major. So if you do end up going uh, to AI, 
camp there's actually an opportunity for you to get an internship for the next summer as a developer for AI camp as well as tons of their students um, they actually go on to work at a lot of the top Silicon Valley companies along with that since it is a camp and you are students you're actually going to be able to gain industry experience you're going to hear from top technical leaders this is a three-week camp and there is no prior experience necessary no prior coding experience necessary for you to apply um, I'm gonna have a link to the scholarship uh, listed down below this scholarship literally takes 15 minutes to apply to so it is like no time at all about 10% of students who apply for the scholarship gets uh, the scholarship <laughs> how many times can I say scholarship and then 60 actually get a partial scholarship be sure to apply before March 1st to lock in that early bird pricing and I wish I had known about something like this or I'm not even sure if it existed when I was in high school or a freshman in college but this is really you know the exact opportunity I'm talking about in terms of if you want to have experience before uh, going into college and seeing you know if computer science or if AI is from you as well as you're able to really gain that industry experience which will um, make your resume stand out so much more than it already does hopefully you all found this video helpful if you want me to do a more general just how to land an internship I can totally do that or LinkedIn any of those career-based questions I'll be happy to do them but I'll catch you all in the next video bye guys